For years I stood behind this bar and stared at that. Back then it was a smelly smoke-stained wall. No, no. The glass is tinted. No cheap, beautiful. You know, I like sitting here and just sitting. See that tree there? Half of it's mine. Well, the other half belongs to the council, but my half is perfect. It's my wee thing, you know. The wee, the, the bird that never flew, the, the, the bell that never rang, the fish that never swam, and the tree that never grew. I've just realised that Glasgow's motto represents everything that's a bit fucked up. <laughs> Come to our city, everything's broke. <laughs> That's a relief. I was beginning to think everything in here was just screwed up, but everything out there is just as bad. Oh, I think it's going to rain. That'll be awfully unusual. <laughs> the birds in the trees will love it. The palace in the rain. The gateway to the gorbals in the rain. Venice in the rain. I wonder if it rains in the real Venice, eh? I wonder what they're doing there just now. Maybe sitting in a wee piazza, drinking a cappuccino, thinking about the woman in the Carlton. <laughs> I always wanted to go there. Well, no, that one, the real Venice, you know, with the canals and the boats and the man with the ice creamy thing. <laughs> Although I bet you the real Venice doesn't have two junkies fighting out about Lion Brew. <laughs> or the lollipop woman fighting with the Waynes because they've called her a fat cunt again. <laughs> Where did they learn that language? <laughs> this wasn't my dream, none of it. I wanted to live in top of the big Hollywood sign and own everything beneath it. This face and the big screen and this finger on the pulse. Any pulse, no this, never this. Deeding my feet year in, year out, smelling a booze and fags and I don't use either. I wanted to smell a roses and lie in a bed of petals and make love with a man who was so glad to have you, he was scared to lose you. No somebody who dug their nails into your flesh because he wasn't taught how to love without fear. He has no poetry in his soul. I looked out the window last week and there was an oil slick and I said to him, oh look, a wee rainbow has fell from the sky. He said, that man wants a whole pie. No, this lies. Who is that I see before me? Fuck, it's me. I look like my mammy. Who plans to look like their mammy nobody? <laughs> She'd be 56 now. It's been eight years since she died. Eight years. <sighs> nobody ever told me what happened. I don't think we'll ever get the full facts. We don't never know. I tucked it all away inside my head and waited for something, you know, just the truth to get some shape. Did she fall in? Did he hold her under the water? Did she claw on with her nails against the banks of the river? Did she try and hold on? Did she shout out? Was she drunk? Was she alone? You don't know. The police said, what's the point? I said, she's my mommy, that's the point. I'm not going to cry. No one here. I couldn't, no even back then either. Not in here or out there. I just kept it all away inside myself. You know, this was the woman. My mommy won life-saving medals at school. She collected fag curtains and black eyes for that bastard. No one here. Oh, <laughs> here we go. The upside of having a tinted window is that the community like to look on it as a community mirror and check themselves out while I check them out. <laughs> oh, look at her. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, fix your hair, yep. Oh, wee bit of lippy. I wonder where she's gone. Dancing with friends? I don't think so. Maybe coffee? Nah, I doubt it. Maybe laughing, travelling to Paris in the springtime with the warm wind in her hair. Fuck, I'm showing my age again. <laughs> she looks happy. Look at her smiling. Gone yourself, hen. 
I'm coming. Can you not pour a pint, you useless big fucker? <laughs> Look, I'm saving this vein. That one, that one there. It's a fucking cracking vein. <laughs> He's gonna give me it. I've gave him 70 quid because I don't give a fuck what it does to me. I'll take my fucking chances. I've had my veins rinsed out by some do goody ambulance bastards. All I was doing was lying in the stairs, out in my box, minding my own business. And they, the stupid bastards, thought I was dead. So see, the next time you think some cunts dead are dying, ask them first. They might just be having a good fucking time. <laughs>